Say hi. Welcome back to my channel guys, Journey with Kelleen. Please remember to subscribe and share this video. In this video, I am going to share with you some of the things I would normally do in the mornings with Matthew, with feeding, bathing, just about his normal day-to-day -day life. Come Matthew, come and pop them up. Come. Pop them off. Yes, put them in there. Mm -hmm. Turn around. Come, pop them up. Come, put them in. Two. Yes. Come. Come, put them in. Yes. Yes, keep going. Yes. So this is how my mornings would normally start. They start with me picking up after Matteo. Matteo, he wakes up early most mornings. So I would put him on the floor to play with his toys. And then, of course, I go back to sleep. I'm joking there. I don't because literally I can't. He's making too much noise. See? Ah. Put those two in there. Mama. You want to go to bed now? Yes. You going to bed? Yeah. All right. Ba, 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 ba. Bad time is fun time for Matteo. He loves water. I would put water in the bath for him to splash in it because this is good exercise for his legs and the more exercise he gets is the better for his muscles. What do you finish with your shower? You got that? Brush here? Yeah. All right, look. Put put it in there first. Hmm? Oil it first and then we're going to brush it. Hmm? How? Bah. Come, you your turn. Brush it. Hold it. Brush it. Go ahead now. No, you're here. You're here. Come. Yes. Do it. Brush your hair. Mm-hmm. Yes. Hmm? Here. Here. Let me go get your shoe. Hmm? You want to put it on yourself? Let me help you. Look, push it in. Hold on. Okay. You want to put on the next one now? Yeah. Good boy. Come. 
Yeah. Is Mama did that? Yeah. You put on your shoe? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hmm? Kids with special needs, they want to do stuff just like any other kid. They like to be involved. They want to put on their own shoe. They want to put on their own clothes. With Matthew, I allow him to be himself. It helps him to develop cognitively and it also helps him to develop fine motor skills. I constantly try my best to talk with him whenever I'm doing anything with Matteo. So if I'm putting on his clothes, if I'm playing with him, whatever it is that I am doing, I constantly talk with him. He talks back, even though sometimes I don't understand what he's saying, but in many ways I do understand what he's saying. But it helps his speech and it helps his morale. So... I think it is important, it is very important to have that conversation going with them. I put Matthew on the floor, then I went and looked about some breakfast for him. I like to keep him on the floor because that way he's not necessarily in any immediate danger. As you can see in the video though, he's doing his own thing. <laughs> What is this? What? Avocado. Banana. What? Pancake. Mm. This is a lot, Mama. Mm. 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 You want to try a piece of the avocado? You want to try this? Yeah. Take it out. Mm. Yes, put it back in the plate. In the plate, look. Take up something else. You want more? Go on. Go ahead now, put that in your mouth. Hold it, put it in your mouth. Go ahead. Good boy. <laughs> Put it in the plate. Hmm? Put it in the plate. Come again. Hold your spoon. Matthew is still not able to feed himself independently using a spoon. Because of that too, feeding time is very time consuming. I allow him to feed himself or I guide him with the spoon. The more practice he gets, the better he will become. I try my best to make feeding time playful. Feeding becomes quicker and feeding becomes easier. When I'm very playful with Matteo, he's much more likely to do the things I want him to do. You're almost finished? Yeah. You want juice? Orange juice? Yeah. <laughs> Everything is known for you this morning? Yeah. Swallow first.
want it? Yeah. <laughs> then why are you stretching for it if you don't want it? Hmm? Come. Drink. Drink. I like to go on walks and I would take Matthew with me. As a parent with special needs, I know that I am not alone. I know that I'm not perfect. And I tell myself things will be okay because it will be okay. <laughs> Say hi. As a parent, I know I won't get things right all the time. If I don't get it right, I try not to lose myself. I just try to keep myself motivated and do my best the next time. I celebrate the little things and I trust my instinct. Guys, being a parent is very hard. However, I feel like being a parent of a special needs child is even harder. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please remember to subscribe, share, and if you like my content, please press the like button. Please drop a comment in the comment section down below. I want to hear what other parents out there are saying, or even if you are not a parent. Please drop a comment in the comment section down below. Let us keep this conversation going.